The severe weather with a hold on much of this country tonight from the floods to the fires. This evening, the scope of the historic fires in Colorado just now coming into focus. This image showing the devastation, the homes and cars there now ash. The Black Forest Fire near Colorado Springs tonight a little more than half contained. And today a remarkable scene, neighbors lining up, some holding American flags there to cheer on the firefighters after a long and brutal shift. And a touching and personal thank you, a cake from one Colorado Springs resident after those firefighters did what they could to save homes. And to the other extreme tonight, the flash flooding across much of the heartland. These images coming in from Missouri this evening, streets turning into raging rivers. And look at this soccer field tonight turned into a lake. We have it all covered, beginning with the long line of families just now returning home in Colorado, hoping they have a home to return to. Here's ABC's John Schriffen. Tonight in Colorado, lightning and heavy rains. A blessing and a curse for these long lines of cars trying to return home inside the fire zone near Colorado Springs. Many not sure what is waiting for them. I want to be able to go back to our house. This was the scene last week as the massive flames quickly reduced million dollar homes to their foundations. The Black Forest Fire, now Colorado's most destructive wildfire ever, has destroyed at least 480 homes, killing two people. Authorities say this wildfire was so tricky because of record temperatures and strong wind shifting the direction of the flames. Pleased to report that because of the activity both of the day crews so far today and the night crews that we're going to bump the containment percentage up to 65. This weekend, Mother Nature has wreaked havoc across the country. In San Antonio, Texas, officers searched through waist-high water for victims of flooding. Further south, nearly 17 inches of rain fell, overflowing the Rio Grande. This teen springing into action. I would grab it and swim way out there, put them in there, and then just swim back. And then just keep going and keep going and keep going. And the current was going that way. The heavy rain moved through the Midwest, dropping up to nine inches in five hours in Springfield, Missouri. In Omaha, Nebraska last night, fans of the College World Series ran for cover as the skies opened up. And in Arizona, residents saw the first monsoon of the season flooding the streets. Tonight, as firefighters in Colorado are catching their breath, new red flag fire warnings are up in Utah. Here in California, you can see the charred hills that go on for miles from the recent powerhouse wildfire. It's just the beginning of what many fear could be a devastating fire season made worse by years of little rain. As one climatologist put it, you ain't seen nothing yet.